Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a bit of an informative video all about RP. Now this is a video which is going to help you if you've been newly diagnosed, if you're a long term RPer like me, whether you live with someone that's got RP or you're just a bit curious to find out more information, this video is definitely going to be for you. I'm going to be talking about seven key things that you need to know about RP to get a solid understanding of the eye disease. Number one, RP is a genetic eye disorder. Now, my understanding is that it causes a breakdown and loss of cells in the retina. I have experience of X-linked RP because it's what I have. Now, there are lots of different variants of RP and I think it would be better for me to have somebody that knows exactly what they're talking about to take you through that bit. But all you need to know on a very basic level is it's genetic and there's not a huge amount of things that we can do about that at the moment. Number two, symptoms vary widely. Now they vary from person to person they also vary in terms of the severity and the speed that they develop. Now, some of the common symptoms of RP include peripheral vision loss, um, tunnel vision, they can have night blindness, they can also have sensitivity to light, so all kinds of different things. Everybody feels it differently and this is why it's good to chat to lots of people that have RP to find out if they're experiencing things in the same way that you are. Number three, there is no cure for RP. Today, there is lots of research going on, lots of um, developments, but still no cure. But that's okay, because once you come to terms with that, then you start thinking in terms of managing your condition, keeping a track of it, and doing all the things that you can do to preserve the eyesight you have, so that when a cure is available, you're in the best space possible to receive it. Number four is tracking the progression of your RP. Now this is something that I definitely didn't do myself. And I wish that I had because tracking the progression of your eye disease, as difficult as it might be, is really, really important. When you get to my age, you also start experiencing different symptoms different things start progressing with your vision. So it's really good to have contact with people that can help you understand how your sight loss is progressing and what you can do to manage those symptoms. Five is low vision aids. Now, if you're younger than me, which is probably most of you, you'll be familiar with apps and things on your smartphones which help you. Back in my day, it was magnifying glasses and telescopes, electronic devices to, to read print in front of you. But the idea is that whatever you use, however old you are, just use something which helps you to preserve the eyesight you've got. And straining to see computer screens, newspapers, books is really not good for eyesight, particularly RP. So use whatever you need to use to make things feel easier. Number six, genetic counselling. Now this is something which I believe can be done when you're considering having kids, but also it helps people like me and like my parents to understand where the genes have come from and where the genes are likely to go in the future. Like I say, it's not something I know a huge amount about because I haven't actually done it myself, but it's definitely something again, which we are gonna get somebody that knows what they're talking about to come and talk to you all about it. Number seven, research and clinical trials. As we said, there is no cure, but we are very close to one, I'm sure. Now there is stuff going on all the time in the world where clever people are looking at ways of getting rid of this disease. And whether it's through retinal implants or genetic therapies, 
stuff is being done to, to try and help us. Now, you can also get involved in these trials yourselves. You can actually participate in helping to find a cure. It's not really something that I'm that interested in. I just feel like I have too much to, to lose at the moment. That being said, if an opportunity came up for me to be involved in some sort of trial, a lot of my friends have done it and it's a really important thing to do. Whether you get involved in trials or whether you just like to keep up to date, it's always a good thing to know what the latest research and trials are up to in the field. Understanding these seven key points will help you to manage RP, but also help you and your family and loved ones to make better decisions about the health of your eyes. I hope today's video has been useful. If you know anybody with RP, anybody that has a family member with RP, please share this so that they too can get some extra help and understanding.